of salvation The first thing that I did here today is clear a lot of the small trees out from the campsite here and uh, did so with the SC Hungless. Um, one of the problems that you'll often see uh, is when you're clearing brush and stuff you're working close to the ground and on a survival trip um, where your life's on the line it's a bigger no-no. You do not have to sleep in one specific spot. It would be better for you to go to another spot uh, rather than pick a spot and have to risk your blade working close to the ground because you want to camp there. Um, but in this situation, as I said, this is a bushcraft trip, not a survival trip. I, uh, I trust Essie's uh, heat treat on this thing. And uh, we have zero damage whatsoever because it's just a phenomenal blade so you know for a low stress trip like today no issue Okay guys, this is really a bushcraft trip. It's not a survival trip, it's just a little overnighter. I brought my uh, hidden woodsman puck, uh, ruck. I really love this bag. You've probably seen a lot of my videos. It's just phenomenal. Um, modular sleep system, military modular sleep system. Some Joe stole my winter bag and I somehow have two summer bags. Um, this jacket here that I've got in the bottom, that is a Czech parka that I got from Verustaleka. This is a Hidden Woodsman Bushcraft chair. Hopefully I'll be able to set that up and show it to you guys. Uh, I might be having a guest, I'm not sure yet, but if I do, I'm going to surprise him with some black rifle coffee cooked right over the fire. Uh, Essie Hungless, what a performer. This actually isn't my blade. This blade has been provided for review by a subscriber. Hopefully I'll be able to get that back to him pretty soon. The Council Tool Pack Axe with a 24 inch handle. No doubt this is my favorite axe. Perfect grain orientation. Um, just all around phenomenal. Guys, I'm bringing a lantern so that I can film after the sun goes down. Like I said, this is not a survival trip. I'm really hoping to just uh, enjoy myself. Um, Climate Static V2 sleeping pad. I've been using this for a long time. Mariah got it for me. I love it and I'm going to be doing a review on it very soon. 
Um, I like keeping all of my little stuff in a Hidden Woodsman uh, Possibles pouch. This is in a Pencott pattern. I, I really like the camo, although the light green is a little much for actual camo purposes. It's just cool. And I just got a bunch of paracord and fire making stuff in here and just whatever. A uh, little battery charger. Um, clean canteen, 64 ounce uh, water bottle. Gotta stay hydrated. Uh, on a beach and tactical baldric sling. It's a really nice way to carry this thing. Baco Laplander. I've been using this for about four years. I say using, I don't use it a whole lot. Um, as you can probably tell by the fact that it still has some finish left on it, but uh, it's a good little saw. And I need to do a review on it. I don't know why I haven't in three years. And then um, this will be the first time using an Aqua Quest tarp. My first ever experience using a good tarp. Um, this was actually given to me by a subscriber, and seriously, I cannot thank you enough. Another thing that I'm using out here for my pocket knife is this little uh, Victorinox. These Swiss Army knives have become trendy, and uh, I've heard people say that they're no longer practical. And I guess we're going to find out. Uh, whether that's true or not, so far I don't think it's true. So far I think that this is a absolute awesome piece of gear to have on you, especially because it weighs nothing. This particular model, I forgot the name, but I'll put it in text across the bar here, just has, has two blades. Little one, big one. Love it. He approves too. Hey guys, so I'm actually a little bit bummed out right now because I didn't get started as early as I wanted because I wanted today to kind of be a day where I built a little bit of a bushcraft camp. I have a lot of pine trees that I have to cut down because they are all growing up too close to each other and they'll kill each other, they'll choke each other out. So I've got all these nice long straight pine trees that I've got to cut down. And I wanted to do some work and actually build kind of a solid structure. But I got a late start. And I just threw up this um, really nice tarp. And I wanted to have a lot of room uh, for two people. Here's the problem is, you know, it's not going to be real cold tonight. It's going to be in the 20s probably. But I've got these big high sides that are open and a back that isn't all the way onto the ground. And if you want to stay warm, that really isn't the right thing to do. But I'm rushing um, just to get firewood and to do a lot of stuff. Um, get a little heat reflector while I'm out there trying to find rocks along the cliffs and stuff. So it kind of brings back the point um a while ago there's this guy who said that he was hunting in russia and a storm was coming in so he decided to hunker down and build it build this little shelter and he's glad that he did because he was stuck there for like a week man he had like multiple chainsaw sawn logs and logs that were 16 inches in diameter and stuff talking about it took him four hours to build Guys, if you want to build a shelter, it's going to take some time. It takes it takes a lot of work. Um, I just don't have the time today. And that sucks because I really wanted this to be a whole lot cooler. But, you know, what can you do? It is what it is. So I'm just going to keep doing stuff.
Move to Timber. Uh, so last night was pretty cold and I did an upside down fire and I'll put a link upside up, down pineapple fire. Yeah, I'll put a link up here to uh, how you can make that properly But uh, you need to do it right and I tried to cut some corners and we fought with it all night um, We did it extremely improperly, right? Very very <laughs> improperly mostly me though Justin did all the hard stuff, but uh, so this is Justin Vitito and uh, you might know him from season two of alone and all kinds of other cool stuff, but now he uh, is an instructor at Rock Castle Shooting Center for survival shooting, and uh, and he does a YouTube page. Yeah, we do have a YouTube page. We have uh, like three subscribers, I think. It's pretty awesome. But, uh, but yeah, go check us out. Um, I do kind of a combination between stuff to make you think and uh, occasionally just funny, funny videos that uh, at least I make myself laugh. That's about about all I got going for me but uh, but yeah go check us out um, yeah I'm, I'm gonna check out to check out your upside down fire video man because uh, this thing actually worked really great um, after the initial kind of uh, pain um, but I woke up at 5 in the morning and it was still still going strong so that's kind of the the big thing it in a survival situation like we were talking about it might not probably wouldn't be the most advantageous thing but you know for camping bushcraft outings stuff like that you know it's it's a whole lot easier to be able to have a fire going all night than you know to wake up every hour or two like we normally do and you know feed the fire a little bit and then go back to sleep and you know you wind up getting absolutely no sleep or in right. increments of 30 minutes or whatever yeah so basically um uh, like I said, I'll, I put a link to that video here. It tells you how to do it right. And we tried to cut corners. I tried to cut corners. And we used cut a lot of corners. cut <laughs> all the corners. I used a lot of green wood, and uh, it was pine. And I thought that the pine would still go up, even though it was green, using the way that the upside down fire worked. And it just didn't. This pine that I've got's just garbage. Yeah. To be fair, you have some weird, <laughs> some weird. Uh, some weird version of pine that's not not really yeah it's not really what most people would consider pine it's uh i'm not sure I'm, i think it's fake I yeah think it's, it's, i think it's actually like somebody pine. planted a fake christmas tree out here <laughs> and it just spread right right but uh it's crap but yeah the oak was really surprising because you just cut that down yesterday right the oak was as dry as, or as fresh as the pine they're both live trees and the oak burned better than the pine. Yeah, it was that was pretty amazing. Um, and you know, I mean, basically the theory is that it gets hot enough uh, to where it pushes all the water out of the out of the tree or out of the out of the logs. And then as it goes down, you know, you're you have firewood, which is pretty pretty awesome. Um, you know, it, it would not work, you know, correctly that long with with uh, with dead stuff. Right. You know, so it's actually it's actually kind of cool to, to have something to where you have to use, right. you know, a right. fresh, fresh tree. Well, yeah, and that's the idea is at the bottom, whether you do it, you know, to do it right at the bottom, you're supposed to have wet wood. And, uh, and that makes it last longer, it dries out as it goes, and you basically, you layer it from easiest to burn and dry down to hardest to burn and large and wet. Um, but we had, I had just too much wet and because I thought the pine, once it got down to the pine, I thought the pine would just take off. I mean, it was really sappy. It felt like it was sappy. And it just didn't. I mean, like I said, fresh oak burned better than the pine. Even the pine that was split. Yeah. It, it, the fresh round oak burned better 
than the fresh pine that was split in half. I think you just got some weird pine. It's, <laughs> it's got to be. It's got to be. But uh, it's a little you chilly. Need to get a botanist out uh, here. Yeah. Uh, the shelter wasn't set up to trap any heat, but um, you know, we both had some good sleeping systems and we had cold toes, but it was a good time. And uh, fire's a little bit pitiful now, but hey, it burned all through the night, man, which is which is pretty pretty awesome. It was cool. It was cool. So next time I'll do it better. That's what this is all about is learning. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wrap this video up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple more videos based on this trip and talk about some of the gear that I used. So please subscribe, stick around, and I will talk to you guys soon. Make sure to check out Justin at uh, the Rock Castle Shooting Center. The eight Peace. Eight more. Played by the United States Marine Fight Band, the Drum Corps.